go and find a nearby cave to stay for a little while and tell the others that we have to get the garden of corn for our own at any price. Yes, my majesty. These bad grasshoppers come to get our food. There are many of them. There are up to thousands of them. That's right, there are many of them, but they are just as small as my fur. Get out and dismiss them for me. These small grasshoppers, get out of this garden of corn now. This is our domain where no one can interfere. Well, you find food, but we also have to find food. We have our own work. We have been here for a month, but you, your house is in the forest. How can this corn garden be your domain? Oh, good, good, you aren't even as big as my fur, but you dare to argue with me. I said that it is my house, so it is mine. Get it? If you say that, we won't eat the corn leaves here anymore. We will move to the perennial grass bush to eat the perennial grass. That's good to know that you know what to do. Get out of here, now. How can our king believe these starving grasshoppers? If, when we don't notice them, all of them fly and eat the corn leaves, how can we know? We don't have time to guard it. That's right, there are thousands of them. It is not just a few of them. If they just eat for a little while, all the corn trees will have no leaves left. That's right. Then I have to force them to go far away for not being angry and worried. I disagree with this. The grasshoppers have moved from the corn gardens to the cane. It is good for both of us. If we continue to force them away, I am scared that we are too mean. You are old. You have become a codger. These small grasshoppers have no ability. So why do we have to consider them? Now, just tell these grasshoppers that I want them to get out of the perennial grass garden now. As you can see, they are still angry and look down on us despite our concession. And now, I just want to hear your opinion. Should we try again for peace, or should we fight for fairness? Well, we don't compete with them. We are modest, but it doesn't mean that we are afraid of them. If we still keep the peace in this situation, we aren't modest, we are cowards. I totally agree with what he has just said, but we won't be the ones who start the fight. We will fight when the troop of monkeys attack us. Your Majesty, they make me angry. The grasshoppers aren't leaving the perennial grass garden. It means that they want to start a fight. We will find long and big canes to hit them to death. We will hit forcefully wherever they are. They will be dead. That's right. Although there are a lot of them, we hit once to kill many of them. Then they will all be dead and lose the fight. Wait, imprison the old monkeys who did not want to start the fight. Your Majesty, uh, they are finding the canes to hit us. Uh, we are not as big as their toe. How can we fight? Don't worry. We are not as big as them, but the intelligence is in our heads, not the body. I will use their way to make them kill themselves. Try to kill the monkey. The cowards, the grasshoppers, come out! If you don't get out, you will all be killed. Oh, you dare to touch our heads! <laughs> Thanks so much for calling for us. Without you, we may have killed each other. The grasshoppers have known that the bones in the forehead, head and nose are fractural. They were standing on these places and when we hit, they would fly. And it turns out that we hit each other. Now it is too late to be regretful. Even a worm will turn. If you suppose that the others are the cowards, why don't you look back at yourself? What goes around, comes around. <sighs> Is it the morning now? Wake up, wake up, it's the morning. Oh, it's too early. Don't wake me up like that. Look, the weather is so nice today. Get up quickly so you can enjoy it. You have to look fresh. Then the others will notice us. For what? People will bring us home and then do many things. <laughs> 
Why do you say that? If people notice and bring us home, it's good. They can do anything with us. It is much better than being left in this forest. Then we are being beneficial to others. I don't want to. Shh! I heard a voice. Oh. Huh. These two logs are solid. I'm so lucky. I must bring them home. Hmm. It's not fun to have been brought home with him. We just stay in the corner. There is nothing better to do. <laughs> they brought us to their home. They will need us. Be patient. Just believe me. Oh, these logs are good. What can I carve with them? Hmm. Will they use this sharp thing to carve our body? It must hurt. I don't want to do this. Don't worry. Try to be patient, and then we will have new appearances. No, I don't want to. I just want to be an ordinary log. You are bigger than me. He will choose you. <laughs> I will make a beautiful statue. Luckily, he can't see me. I hope he will forget me. <laughs> ah! Ow! Oh! You look much more beautiful. You are so different from how you looked before. Really? Then my patience and pain over the last month has been worth it. I am still ugly. Don't worry. It's your turn. Oh no! No, I didn't mean it. I am so scared. It was so painful for you. I don't want it to be like that for me tomorrow. Ah, this statue is so beautiful. He is so majestic. I will put it in the temple. Oh, I forgot this small log. I will make it straight and put it under the statue. It will be used for putting things on. Oh no, no! Don't touch me! No! Why? We are both logs. Now you are a god. And I am just a normal table. They put things on me every day. It is unfair. I have suffered a lot of pain over the last month in order to have my present appearance. But you, you didn't let anyone carve me. You had only a little pain over a short period of time. So now we are treated differently. That is why.